hey you guys welcome back to another video if you are new here i am jasmine katrina and if you are a returning subscriber welcome to the family hey it's been a while love seeing you all uh today's video is going to be kind of like a mid-year check-in a mid-year update life update in a lot of ways i just felt oppressed upon to make a video and describe and discuss a lot of what I think people are feeling as far as where I think a lot of us are in very similar seasons of life and that looks like a lot of transition a lot of nerves a lot of concerns and real fears and I have been walking through some difficult emotional things and I thought I wanted to really bring it to my YouTube family and talk through some stuff and hopefully this video is encouraging you as I hope it encourages me um, and I just want all of us to be rooted in the things of God and I want all of us to know one you're not alone, two you have community, three our situations may be hard but God is so good and he's so faithful and so usually I do these types of videos um, when I'm like on the other side of the storm and I'm, I've made it through the journey. But I really thought it was important to share in real time kind of what I'm experiencing, what I'm facing, and just the ways I want to build upon and work through and press forward with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it resonates with anyone that might find themselves in similar situations. Um, but if you want to learn more and you want to dive in and keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I have some notes <laughs> so that way I wouldn't be rambling and distracted um you may see a little fur head onyx is right here by my feet so if you see him hit the top of his head he's he's right here uh, my little bubs but yeah let's get into the conversation so update seasons of life what's been going on i talk a lot about this in my vlogs how i'm just having a really hard time in my full-time job at work and so if you guys don't know i work in the nonprofit sector do y'all see these little hands? <laughs> I work in the nonprofit world as a social media manager and marketer. So I've been in the nonprofit space my entire career, which is coming up on 10 years now, which is kind of insane. And in this career, I have had a lot of turbulent situations and experiences, more so because of poor management, toxic work environments, and work culture. And I am currently finding myself in that same space. And yeah. so let me back up so uh last year i kind of started feeling like i wanted to look for a new job i kind of wanted to leave and and i wasn't quite sure but i remember praying and i remember feeling like the holy spirit said not yet like you need to stay and i don't know if you all have experienced god the way i've experienced god or similarly but i have been working on being obedient quicker <laughs> so that way i don't have to learn these same lessons over and over and over again and so I remember praying and um, I was I felt like the Holy Spirit was like, no, don't leave yet. And I was like, dog, please let me go. Like, please let me go. And the Holy Spirit was like, no, there are certain situations and certain things I need you to learn while you're here. And um, I need you to work out the things that, I, that are in you before I can even move you to the next place. Um, and God's timing is perfect. You know, people see hindsight is 2020. And so at the time I was like, okay, I'm just going to be obedient. I'm going to try to work on my inner person and be in, you know, re, like think through and be introspective and figure out what's me, what needs to change and try to go through a, a perspective shift. And I got some of that. So towards the end of last year and beginning of this year, I have been really working through my own problems. So the goal here is to just continue to be and improve and be better. So with that, I didn't leave, um, but coming into 2024, I was praying and fasting all month of January. You all know I took some time off and I really sat with God and I was like, Lord, show me me. Like, I know I am a problem. I know that I have pro problematic tendencies, but show me me and God, whatever is in me that is not of you remove it <laughs> and I don't think we often talk about how big of a prayer that actually is because when God does stuff like that when God begins to like toil the soil and he begins to turn and till the work and he begins to pull things out of you it is painful like I'm on I feel like I'm on an open heart surgery table all the time and God is still really good and he's still faithful and he continues to see his work finished in me and through me and for that I'm really grateful so uh, fast forward to now, you know, the seasons of my work life have been incredibly topsy-turvy, very, very 
exhausted. Um, I have fallen off of my routine just as far as like my health goals and working out consistently, getting proper sleep, drinking enough water. Like a lot of my routines have fallen off because I think when you are in the trenches and you are fighting for your well-being in life, it is really, really hard when you're in it. And I just want to name too, like I thank God for my community because it is hard to do and navigate life by yourself. I can't begin to imagine what it's like to navigate life without Jesus <laughs> as my peace and the, the person that I have my hope in. Uh, but even more so to do that alone is really hard. So I'm so grateful for friends and my YouTube family, my online community that continue to champion me. Like I have incredible people who are like, I know you're going through a hard season. I can tell from your videos, but you know, I'm, I'm believing for you. I'm praying for you. Like y'all have no idea how that has carried me through this season and i just want to say thank you so thank you in and that uh community is really really important and so i often wouldn't want to vlog but i just felt like okay if someone can get something out of this video a win is a win i'll take the win i'll take the i'll take it but that leads me to this big point so the point of this little video is that i wanted to talk through ways that i'm, I'm returning back to myself um I think a lot of times seasons have a lot to do with it like winter you want to be away from people you don't want to do a lot but when it comes to spring it's like bloom and and now that we're approaching the summer months i feel very energized to take control and take authority of my life and in my in my situations that i find myself in right so um i just wanted to kind of name the ways and the things that i'm going to be doing as I'll be vlogging it and discussing with you guys as a way of getting back to the, the to me. I was talking to a really good coworker of mine and we were checking in about work and so she's like, how are you? And I was like, honestly, like, I, I feel like I'm becoming a shell of myself. And I just feel like when people are enduring hard seasons, there's a part of you that just gets so exhausted and so tired that you begin to lose the things that make you shine and sparkle. And so for me, it's having a healthy routine. It's having friends and family. It's having, you know, my girls come over. It's it's me crying on my face with the Lord. Like it's being present with God and, and people that I love. And so I think when one part of your life takes over in a negative way, it completely shapes how you move day in and day out, right? So I took notes because I feel like I feel like I'm kind of rambling, but hopefully y'all don't think I am. Hopefully. So I wrote down notes of like ways I want to transform or get back to me. I want to prioritize my wellness. And what I mean by that is that as, as I am navigating my workspace and my work life, I'm, I'm faced with some hard challenges and I'm faced with some difficult decisions that I'm gonna have to make. And I think I'm at a place and a space where I can say, okay, Lord, I fully surrender this to you. So if this looks like something that I would not have picked for myself, I trust you. If this pans out in a way that doesn't feel like I would pick it, I trust you. My hope is in you. My hope is not in my job. My hope is not in the finances. My hope in my heart and my prayers and my trust is placed on you. And so I have been clinging to the book of psalms i have been reading psalms i think since the top of this year in proverbs for wisdom and just really understanding what god has to say about certain things that are you know practical application i think it all starts with a choice i, I really do think that whoever is finding themselves in a hard season we have to decide to want to to have our life look and feel different than what it is i'm not saying that's easy but i am saying that there's a choice that i have i play and a choice i have to make for the way my life is shaped i have a role to play in how i want my life to look and how i want my life to feel and if there are things that are coming against what i believe the lord wants me to do and navigate i have a choice in that like, i can't I think sometimes when you're dealing with hard stuff, you we a lot a lot of times we let life happen to us versus allowing ourselves to choose how we want to live. I hope that makes sense, but yeah, I think it comes with a decision. And so I've made some decisions before the Lord. I've, I'm you know about to fast and pray about some stuff, and I have some decisions to make. And I think 
whatever decisions I come to, the reality is for any of us that are facing hard seasons, it's a choice that we we need to make and it's a faith that we have to place our hope in the Lord and he really does see things from the beginning, the middle and the end. And he who is all knowing and all powerful knows what we need when we need it and so i just believe in god for his perfect timing and that everything else will come into into alignment with that so that's a little bit of the life update um so now let's talk about just ways i've been getting through this hard season and hopefully this can be encouraging to you and also what i'm going to do going forward to navigate the choices that i think i have to make and how i want to make them so I mentioned uh, community and I mentioned fasting. And so a lot of the ways I've been able to navigate a lot of this the last few months or the first half of the year really has been through crying, <laughs> through worship, through prayer, and through my community. Uh, I am very, very, very blessed to have family members like my parents and my sister and my brothers. Um, I'm very, very blessed to have friends from college and high school and in church that love me and that keep me at the top of their mind and that check in on me and so I would not be standing if I didn't have the community that I have around me and I'd say all that to say is that I really think sometimes when you're enduring a hard season you have to go by yourself and I can't remember the scripture and I'll put it on the screen if I, if I can think of it but there's a there's a scripture that talks about um I think I don't know if it was the widow and her son but it's in the New Testament but they they shut the door and they went to pray and I think I'm in a space and place where I need to shut the door or shut out the noise and I need to I need to go before the Lord and so for me I've been fasting more this year probably more than I've ever had in my life um I have been holding on to the promises that I know God has told me. Um, I have been holding on to the word of God and his promises that are in the word. Like, when you are enduring hard season, you have to grip your hands around what the word says because the word is true, right? So for me, when I am dealing with hard conversations at work or if I'm dealing with frustrations at work and all I want to do is cry and yell and knock somebody upside their head I remember I'm the head not the tail I have to remember that the Lord is before me and he's also with me he's he is Emmanuel I have to remember that I work unto the Lord I don't work to please man I have to remember the scriptures and like pray those things over me and have people cover me in prayer like I have sent many texts of like y'all please pray for me I'm going through Lord please like God please y'all please cover me and I'm not usually the type of person to lean on my friends like that but I think everybody comes to a place in themselves where they have to lean on someone else and so the ways I've been kind of navigating this hard season has really been through prayer fasting worship crying hallmark like coping with my feelings allow myself to feel the feels I've mentioned this plenty of times but I'm just really reminded and encouraged in this season of life that God is big enough to hold my emotions and he's big enough to hold space and he's big enough to just be like okay daughter you're mad be mad you're sad be sad you're frustrated be frustrated you're angry be angry you want to lament lament and I have just been like throwing myself at the feet of Jesus through prayer and journaling and crying and crying out to him first and so if I can encourage anyone to do that like that is that has been my safe place like when the script talks about the lord is my refuge that is true like he is my refuge he gives me strength i would not even understand how i'm in my right mind after dealing with, with the things i've been dealing with this whole year if it had not been for the lord that was on my side you know what i mean prayer and fasting and really really crying out to, to god has been incredibly helpful and that's really all I can do. I feel like this entire year has just been really challenging, which is funny because when I kicked off this year, I felt the Lord gave me the word audacity. So I'm like, it's really not adding up how you gave me this big word and yet I'm not really sure I'm seeing it. Or if I, if I am seeing it, I wasn't looking at it from a perspective of, aud of audacious boldness and, and courage. Like I'm just feeling like I'm getting tossed left and right, you know? 
but here is his, his promise are yes and amen and i really believe that you have to sometimes remind yourself and encourage yourself in the promises of god and you have to remind yourself and encourage yourself that he's true and that he's for you and he's not against you and he's not here to harm you but to prosper you like it ain't easy you know and so anyway going into what i'm gonna do over the summer so i thought about this and i was like praying about it a little bit and i'm starting to feel like i'm back into my old self like i feel like i'm coming up for air for what feels like the first time this entire year and i just feel like i need to get back into some routines and so with the summer being here everyone's in a great mood the sun's out it's shiny it's warm like people are in a good mood and good spirits and so i want to use this summer to really go deep in my routines it looks like establishing a better morning routine establishing a better evening routine i know a lot of a lot of people right now want to be like they want to be runners and i kind of want to just try new fitness activities i want to try new hobbies i want to get out of my comfort zone in my life and i think that starts with how i show up like i'm always talking about it in my vlogs like my room is a mess my house is a mess but like we gotta stand on business you know what i mean like we need to be able to to stand on business so i've been purging my home i've been decluttering my home i've been deep cleaning my home i want my house to reflect the woman that i want to be i want my life to reflect the woman that i'm becoming i want my heart and my mind and my body to be in alignment to who the lord has called me to be and nothing right now reflects that and so i am actively working on purging and not spending and eating healthier and not eating out as much and drinking my water and getting adequate sleep and stretching and moving my body like really thinking about who God has called me to be and how do I begin to show up as her has been really the resounding theme this last couple of weeks and I am really really excited to take you guys on that journey I'm I'm praying that this will just encourage you I'm praying that this would just remind you that god is for you I'm very excited to start video recording and like taking you guys along the process however with all that said i just wanted to hop on camera and talk about yeah like people are in hard seasons and it takes nothing to be kind and it takes nothing to really pray for people and so when i say i'm really praying for y'all like i'm really praying for y'all Pray for your mind and praying for your, your wellness and pray for your health and your peace i'm praying for your soul to prosper i'm praying that the lord will be with you that you won't feel forsaken that he is for you and not against you i am praying god's best over you and so i just wanted to come on here with no real agenda other than to say i completely understand that if you are facing a hard season if you are in the middle of making really tough decisions if you are in the process of trying to figure out what way to go which way is right or wrong up or down you know you want the peace of mind you don't want to feel like you're out of god's will i i get it i understand that i live in that tension and i've been living in that tension for the last few months and my only encouragement is that i place my hope in the one that knows it all and for me that is jesus christ because where would i be without him and i hope for you it's him i hope that you can take a you can look at this video and be like wow one i'm not alone two i'm in community with her because i'm a part of her her youtube fam so she gets it and then three if he can do it for someone else surely he can do it for me like he's no respecter of person and so i don't know i just wanted to kind of come on camera and talk to you guys about that i'm not sure who this might be for it's definitely for me i want to be able to look back on this and be encouraged by myself for myself uh but seriously i just wanted to talk through how i've been navigating hard seasons and how i have been working to continue to prioritize myself life is short and life is meant to be lived in abundance and not abundance and just things but abundance and joy abundance and peace abundance and love abundance and the things of god and so yeah i really hope you all are encouraged i hope that you can walk away from this video feeling like you're you are a little bit better today than you were yesterday let me know in the comments if you feel comfortable or dm me on instagram however you feel comfortable but i would love to hear from you i would love to know if this resonated with you in any way but yeah so until next time friends be well do well and be safe i love you guys so so much i am praying for y'all i'm praying you have a wonderful start to this new month of june by the time this video comes out it's june 
I can't believe we're already halfway through the year. That is literally insane to me that we are halfway through 2024. But I am so excited that we have six more months to see God move. And if there are promises that you feel like the Lord has told you, there are six more months for God to do the things that he said he was going to do. And I am excited where I was once really down you know downtrodden and downcast like i can look and see the goodness of the lord and the land of the living i can look and see his faithfulness from january to june and from june to december so i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and until next time be well do i'm gonna be safe and i'll catch you in the next video bye